Hi everyone, it's Professor Just B. So I wanted to reply to my colleague, Dr. Marita, and her comment. Or her As a patient, do we want a student who's 100% competent on know-how to assess a patient or 60% okay? If I'm a nursing student, I need to pass my course with at least a grade of 60% in order to move on to the next course as a prerequisite. And I always wondered, like, why is that the case? Why are we making that passing grade so low? It's somewhat suggesting to students that it's okay to be minimally competent. And in today's healthcare, we don't want nurses who are minimally competent. And so it raises the question, and Dr. Marita said this beautifully, it all is summed up in this one statement. When I talk to, when I talk to my students and I say, would you want you as a nurse? Would you? And that's a question that I'm actually gonna use with, with students when they're passing minimally or when they're on the fence of competent or incompetent. I'm gonna ask them, would you want you to be your nurse? Because that is really the basis of setting that grade in the first place, right? 60% is what, a C plus, if that. And no one would want a nurse who passes with a C plus. I'm walking into a hospital or if I'm walking into any healthcare setting, I wouldn't want a C plus nurse. I want an A nurse, okay. you know? Shouldn't minimally competent in today's healthcare be at least a B plus or an A minus. I mean, we're requiring students to enter into the program with those kind of grades. Why are we now setting the bar lower when they're in the program? I don't know. Just doesn't make sense to me. Can you let me know what you guys think? Let me know in the comments below.